Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about what is new in this update because I know three people who just got wing guards yesterday. So the drop rate is actually pretty decent. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily. So if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to go over are, of course, the freebies. So you want to go to your systems over here, get campaign items, receive item account. And as you can see, there is a Halfa Super Origin Gifts. Now, I believe this is the last one. So we do get a Vital Gauge. We get 30 Star Gems as well as three more Anniversary Tickets. So make sure to pick that up. So if we take a quick look at the Vital Gauge, we can see that it is Manon. So it does look pretty nice. So I like that quite a bit. We'll consume that. Remember the third anniversary thankful tickets. This doesn't expire until the 19th of next month. So you still have plenty of time to hoard them up or to use them or whatever. But remember, these are AC items that you receive over here. So you do want to uh, make sure that you do use them because uh, if you forget to use them, that's kind of a shame. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the super pre-announced urgent quest. So we do have a schedule over here. I will leave this link in the description below because it does auto convert into your local time zone. But nevertheless, just make sure that you actually run this whenever you can because every time you complete the Dark Falls Dalian Urgent Quest or Planet Crusher Assault, you do get a hundred thousand Masetta. However, that's not all. We also have a 250% rare drop rate as well as fix a drop rate for Dark Falls Daily, and so you definitely want to run this in order to maximize your chances of getting a Wingard weapon. Now, with that being said, the 250% rare drop rate doesn't only apply to the Urgent Quest, it also applies to the Crimson Realm. Now, the biggest question I've gotten from a lot of players is, Carol, I'm looking at Crimson Realm right now, I'm looking at the loot table, it doesn't say anything about a Wingard weapon, so do Wingard weapons actually drop in the Crimson Realm or not? And I can assure you that Wingards do drop in Crimson Realm, however, you do have to go through a different menu in order to see it. So first of all, you have to hover over the Ryukyu device and then press tab in order to open up this menu, then go to boost effects details and go to the highest rank where Crimson Realm is. As you can see, we do get the rare drop rate plus 250%, we get the fixed drop rate plus 250%. However, more importantly, you can see under it, it says item additional drop and it says Wingard Sword. However, if we scroll down, it says Wingard Sword, Rifle, and Rod. So does that mean that only these three weapons drop in Belogana Runes? No, it can drop a lot more than these three specific Wingard weapons. The reason I say this is because when we go to Lost Central, and we go to Boost Effects over here, we go to the highest rank, you can see when Crimson Realm is activated, there is also the Rare Drop Rate plus 250%, as well as the Fixer Drop Rate plus 250%, and also the Wingard Drops. However, the thing about the Wingard Drops is it doesn't include like the Gunblade, as well as the Wired Lance. Well, it just so happens that I saw Emiko get the Wired Lance when they were farming with us. Here is the screenshot. And I have JP friends which got gun blades when they were farming in Lost Central as well. So even though it might not list the specific weapon that you're farming for, it can drop all of the different wing guards. Now, I don't know why they specifically listed these three different wing guard weapons. I guess they just ran out of space and couldn't add any more or something. But nevertheless, I can assure you that you can get all of the different wing guard weapons in Crimson realm. However, it has to be when Crimson Realm is activated. So right now, Crimson Realm is activated in Belugana Runes. So in order to farm for a Wingard, you are going to need to go to Belugana Runes to farm. Now, another question I've been asked a lot recently is what mob specifically drops these Wingard weapons? And it is literally anything in the Crimson Realm. All three drops that I know of have dropped from trash mobs during a PSE burst. So no, it doesn't drop from the boss monsters only. It can drop from regular trash mobs as well. So it's in your best interest to get as many PSE bursts as possible so that you kill the most amount of mobs and you have the highest chance of getting a wing guard. So basically, I recommend the majority of players, if you are hunting for a wing guard, to just farm in Crimson Realm. And even if you're not hunting for a Wingard, I still recommend Crimson Realm because there's a lot of money to be made there, simply because you get a bunch of Triel capsules, which you can craft into the Mega Triel, which is worth like 100,000, 150,000 each. And then on top of that, you're also getting a lot of resources, such as the Foundia capsules, which are very useful. And then, of course, we do have the Drivaris, which is pretty fun to kill and occasionally drops some pretty rare items as well. And what a pleasant surprise. We see Nixian over here beating me up with a hammer. But nevertheless, let us continue on with the next thing, which is, of course, the limited time quest Nazan's big quiz. So this is the new game mode or the new limited time quest. 
personally it's fun for a couple of times now you do want to do it every single day simply because it is bound to your dailies so if we come over here to your dailies you can see right here in order to get your reward box medal april 2024 you do need to complete the limited time quest and you do need a b rank or higher now it's relatively easy to get a b rank basically you can get like three or four questions wrong and you'll still get a b rank so it's not the end of the world it's pretty easy to achieve you can literally go in and just blind guess everything and you'll probably get a b rank or above but nevertheless you do need to do the limited time quest every single day in order to get your reward box medals because remember this time it's two per day instead of one per day so you definitely want to take advantage of that because for those who don't know when you go to task and quest there is the reward box over here and you can get all of these goodies over here which is pretty nice for free as long as you have the reward box medals so you definitely want to blast through this in order to get all of these medals so you can pick up all of the free cosmetic items now the last thing i want to talk about is the elegant harmony ac scratch because i know a lot of people myself included were very interested in the monotone dress you can see that my character is actually wearing the dress right now so it looks really good when you're not moving however this dress defies gravity so i'm just gonna double jump over here you can see that the dress flies way up super super easily when you just jump or when you dash or when you just move so there's a lot of um physics with the dress for some reason it's a very very unfortunate because i feel like all of the long dresses in this game have this problem where they just kind of fly everywhere and they're they have like anti-gravity mechanisms or photons in them or something so that is a little bit unfortunate that the monotone dress does fly all over the place um but because of that you know the prices are a little bit more reasonable you know they're still expensive but they are going down in price as more and more people realize when you use this outfit in combat it does look a little bit silly um personally it looks great for screenshots though as long as your character is standing still it looks absolutely amazing but the moment you start dashing around and moving around the the dress here just flies all over the place now that is the only downside about it but i really do like this dress it's very very elegant only thing i wish i could do would be hide the shoes unfortunately you can't get rid of the high heels at least i don't think you can uh, even like the b2 versions like if you take this and you hide the ornaments here it only hides the sleeves and not the shoes so um yeah i don't really know what to do but uh, nevertheless i'm pretty happy about the dress it sort of works out and then of course we do have the big bear doll this is just freaking amazing as you can see th this is a perfect example of the dress just defying gravity it literally it doesn't go down it is just like whoosh, you know skirt up all the way and so i, I don't really know why the, the this is defying gravity i'm guessing it's like the joint over here maybe my character's knee is making it so that the uh the dress can't come down or something but if you do the type 2 it looks a little bit it looks a lot better actually does the dress does float down properly um so there is that but nevertheless you know this giant bear is really really nice but the monotone dress does have some gravity issues on certain poses as well as some movement special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.